Okay, I am going to uh, start another play, another uh, playing of Oblivion. And there you go. If you want to click through this on the controller, you just hit the A button, and then you move your uh, left joy joystick up and down. So on these options here, that's pretty standard. I tweaked that a little bit. And then... Uh, I don't mess with that. Pretty much this is the game settings. Now in here, you can change the HUD scaling, inventory and bartering, uh, map resolution. This is all stock. Enable the Xbox controller. Show the, the HUD clock. That's turned on. Show the HUD input viewer. Controls whether your gamepad buttons pressed and joystick input are displayed on the HUD. That's not on. Suppress DLC startup spam. In other words, uh, when you start up, it's not the DLC things won't start popping up all the time. I should have turned that on, but I didn't realize it. This changes so that uh, the layout is PlayStation. Enhanced menus controls whether Oblivion uses a northern UI provided alchemy menu or a reskin version of the vanilla menu. Changes will not take effect until you restart the game. And then I'm using enhanced enhanced movement. If this option is able in it is enabled, your character's angle of movement will exactly match your joystick's direction. If this option is disabled, the joystick works the same as wasp. Wasp. W A S D not wasp but wasp or whatever. Camera behavior. You got the Oblivion, you got the Skyrim, and you got the Free. And I just went ahead and left it Oblivion. Camera's fixed. You can disable it, unchange, or fixed. HUD. This is where you got all the little uh, icons that show your uh, health, your weapon condition, your fatigue, your magicka all that it's turned on and then this would make uh, make the health magic and stamina meters will fade away when all three are full and this enables the icons for your equipment weapons and spells and the other meters of your weapon charges and condition will fade away when health magic and stamina are full so I just I like seeing them up there. Okay, so I'm going to continue where we left off and see what we can get done. Now, remember, we just got out of prison, and my dog was waiting for me patiently. Now, I do have a graphics mod. And I've got uh, you know, supposed to be better textures and stuff. I, I can't remember what the stuff looked like in the stock version. Vilja, Vilja, Vija, 
Vaja. Vaja or Vaja. Vile. Vileja. Vileja is the girl. I suddenly recalled a rumor I heard recently about a Nord girl at the waterfront who seemed to be in deep trouble. Maybe I should go there and check if there's something I can do for her. <coughs> so, I, I put a mod in for the water, see how clear it looks. Now wait till you get in the water. Yeah, I like that. So now you can run around and, you know, scavenge clams and look if there's any chest under there. And you get pearls. Oh, I don't have. Ah, oh, sunny, sunny. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to show you a uh, uh, early on uh, job to take or quest that uh, that will uh, get your get you a ring that lets you breathe underwater. I haven't got that yet. So, where are we going? Let's see. Alright, so sh shall we go ahead and get our companions? get my uh, 1k of uh, lock picks So I'm looking for uh, caches to mine. Oh, I can't. I don't have a. I don't have a, a mining pick yet. But they kind of stand out. But if you, you know, they're easy to overlook. See, like here's one right here. I don't have a, a mining pick so I can't I can't mine it but there's some right there and that's part of the crafting mod that I've got installed But there's a few of them scattered around these buildings, around the Imperial City, and uh, but I don't have the equipment, which we're gonna go buy it. We'll see. There's some more. Okay, almost passed that up. Another one. I can't get it yet because I don't have the. Uh, the pickaxe, the mining, uh, mining pick. I don't have one.
and they're just scattered. Uh, you find a few in the caves. I mean, I wish there was more, but... Well, I ain't gonna shoot the deer. Uh, I don't have a skinning. Uh, I need a skinning knife to uh, skin them once I shoot them to get the fur off of them, the pelt. That'd be a good shot right there. Yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. You know, I've got a couple of uh, graphic mods, textures. Um, I got texture mods for the. Uh, well, you've seen the water overhaul for the caves. The I'm gonna call them alien ruins, but I don't think that's actually what they're called. Uh, and uh, the dungeons, and the caves, and the grass, and the trees. So, I can't remember what this game looks like vanilla. So, I don't know if it's any kind of an improvement. I just... I think it looks good. If this is the way it looks in vanilla, then the vanilla game wasn't too bad. Okay, so on the the on the horse armor DLC, you're going to. Uh, be able to come in here and talk to her. Snock Barbara, owner and proprietor. We board horses and, well, we don't actually sell horses. Anymore, that is. And I'm here about the horse armor. Well, what can I interest you in? I want a horse armored and a horse, too. You've got to be kidding. Uh, see now, I can, I'm not going to get the horse because I'm not ready yet. Uh, I don't know. I could get the horse. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so she gave me that. I don't have any gold to give her. What can I do for you? But now the other, I have to pay... To get the horse armored, I have to have 500 gold. I don't have any gold. Um, so this is a, this is a different mod, and there's not going to be any sound. You got to read it. We're working on something. However, it's too early to reveal it right now. So later on in the game. Goodbye. She's going to tell you to start. Uh, Talking to other stables. Oh, I already got a horse right there. I didn't even pay her nothing for it. Yeah, cool. But she's going to start talking to uh, other. You, you talk to other stables, and when she's ready, you're going to get a find. They're going to give you a, a flyer, and you're going to come here, 
and this will be activated where you can go down in there and you're going to deal with another woman and she's going to tell you to go out and get uh, components so that she can make new kinds of horse armor and then you can buy them off her and you can uh, like if you want to trade one in you can get a, a 80 percent refund now here is my lock picks thousand lock picks okay and that thing will respawn but a thousand lock picks will do this and I always uh, check everything especially in the beginning of the game because you need moolah you need gold and then those are good for crafting your alchemy that's what it is alchemy that's what it's called so they don't sell horses they just board horses so here's one of the that's part of that uh, mod for the horse stuff and the thing is is uh, on the uh, controller the commands don't work so you have to hit uh, let's see I think it's alt E no no I'll have to read the instructions again. It's whatever the block key is. So if you go block and jump, which it's not going to work, it's uh, what's the block key on this thing? Shift and E. Uh, I'll do I'll worry about it later I'll read it it's not ready anyhow but you get uh, ho oh there's uh, Vi uh Vilja that's her horse bruiser and you're also going to get a uh, a quest to uh, train your horses and I haven't done that yet either but I've got the mod installed for it so here's here's some copper ore so there's a little bit of ore everywhere but and that guy sells drugs remember the more you do stuff that's how you level up see how my uh, acrobat skills got better because I'm running Come on, dog. You wasn't helping me very much. I'd have never found that knife if I wouldn't have seen it falling through the sky. Uh, 
And I have no idea where that guy came from, why he started attacking me out of nowhere. But that's how you level up in this game. The more you do something, you know, that's when it starts leveling up. And what's going to happen is when you do get to pick what you want to level up on, based on what all you did, you're going to have so many points for each category. Dang, I want to go all the way over here. I guess I'll fast travel. I never understood this game where you don't uh, you don't discover places. You can fast travel them once you hear about them. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Have a copy of the Black Horse Courier. It's the only way to get the real news. Feature story on the Gray Fox. And I do got mods for character, you know, NPCs, make them look better. Check all the crates. Like like I said, torches. Get torches because once you get into them dark caves, you're going to wish you had them. Definitely need repair hammers. None of that's worth crap. All the clothes you can sell. I mean, anything that's sellable that has a price on it, get it. And especially uh, the uh, stuff for making potions and food and... Oh yeah, you gotta have a pair of shears for shearing sheep. Okay, what the hell is my what dog growling do? at? So there's Nesca, if that's how you say her name. She's a, du a Dwemer. What can I do for you? Read any good books, sir. And that is... I have looked in all the alchemy books. Vigil. 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 J. This is rather a shame. V-I-L-J-A. Tell me, what do you want? Any new books you've been reading? Hello there. I'm Vilja. Vilja. Have you by any chance the person Melinda told me Vilja. About? Okay, Vilja. Yes. My sister Melinda. Owner of Melinda's beauty shop in Vivek. You are from Morrowind, aren't you? Uh, well, I've been there, but that's a long time ago. So you're not the one then? Oh dear. I'm starting to get really concerned over this. Can I help you? No. Or um, maybe you could. You seem to be more of an adventurer and fighter than I am. And I really do have a problem. Or um, my sister has a problem. So this, just so you know, the girl that or lady that wrote this mod created it she voiced it too and she is from Sweden and uh, so that's why she's got that accent but I think it sounds cool and there are some things 
that are added to the regular NPCs about her that you're not going to uh, hear any sound. You're just going to get the text. But then there's some characters that she added to the game that they'll actually talk like they're part of the game. They're, they're characters that she introduced into the game. and uh, But the characters that are already in the game, they don't have the dialogue. So all you get is text that you can read. Which is still not bad. I mean, it's a heck of a mod. Now the other mod, uh, the one I'm going to get after I talk to her, I read that she was one of the best uh, characters to run alongside this mod. But uh, she ain't got nothing on this girl. This girl's really cool. She's got good dialogue, good storyline. And uh, she gives you all kinds of little missions. So tell it's me. It's a long story, I'm afraid. You see, my sister has an Archimedes store in the Vivex city of Morrowind. She has specialized in making creams that will smooth the skin and make women look prettier and younger, dearly needed by the dark upper class ladies. The business has been quite a success. But then my sister couldn't resist buying cheap ingredients from a shady Kai trader. This was a disaster. You see, those who have used the cream and now developed a furry face will whisk us. Oh dear. My sister has been shown in prison, on bread and water, and the mob wants her head on a plate. She has written to me in desperation. You see, there is a cure for these horrible symptoms, but to make that cure, she needs ingredients that can only be found here in Cyrodiil. She has asked me to garden the ingredients, but I'm not skilled enough at fighting to survive in the dangerous places on my own. She promised that a friend of hers would come and help me, but I've waited here for weeks now, and no one has showed up. Help! Well, you better wait for your friend. You can come with me if you'd like, of course. I can. You will protect me. That would be ever so kind of you. I don't know where to find what I'm looking for. So the best thing is that you just let me come along and I'll search for the ingredients while we travel. It's really very kind of you. I'm so grateful. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to her is... Uh, How's your skills? Not bad. Not bad at all. And then you want to go to uh, options. Make her essential. She will never die. And you can adjust her health. Uh, this is... Uh, Ignore incumbents. 3,742 maces. <laughs> uh, don't let her sell lock picks or hammers. Okay, so I don't want her to sell lock picks or hammers. Choose her swimsuit outfit. Uh, use game default outfit. Choose, uh, I got these installed. And, yeah, let's go with blue, see what happens. Adjust. Yeah, I like her commenting all the time, so I'm not going to adjust that. Clear dialogue about other companions. Enable. Okay, so enable the romance option. It makes for a lot better uh, dialogue. She flirts with you more. Okay, so. Uh, she's at level one right now. She has no armor on, so that's why she's armor ratings at zero.
spells does she have? Doesn't tell you. Oh well, okay. So. Yes? Uh, let's just travel. You won't need any armor Lovely. right now. I don't particularly enjoy wearing armor all the time. Farewell. And where's the other girl? Okay, now here's the other girl. Hello? Yes? Thought I might find you here. Oh, my dear friend, it is so good to see you. She's a drum drumner, is that how, how you say it? What brings you to the Imperial City? Lots of us Dark Elves came to Cyrodiil to get away from the temple. We're sick of living under the thumb of the priests and scraping by on the dole. Well, no need to worry about that now. She's got a bad neckline. I need to get a you mod know, to fix that. that's what I like about you. You're such a good listener. Thanks. I feel so much better now. So, what are you going to do now? I think I'll head down to the basement and get something to eat. I think there's some cheese down there. I was hoping you could help me. But of course. What troubles you? It all started when... Tell the whole story. What a great story. So will you travel with me again? I'm happy to be of service in any way I can. In any place I can. There are so many who need help. And so few to offer it. You're the best. Oh, you're such a sweetie. Follow me and go casual. Now she does. I don't know if she's got a uh, a bunch of. Uh, uh, she gave me a skill book. I'm listening. Use ranged weapons and stay back. If we need to split up, meet here. Teleport to our meeting spot. Let's get personal. We'll look into that later. Uh, when we come across an enemy and then you tell her what you want to do, and never I mind. See. Uh, regarding your abilities. Tell me more. She can, she can recharge magic gear. She can get you some lockpicks if you give her 25 gold. I don't need any lockpicks. She'll, she'll get you ingredients and uh, Vera will do the same thing. Vilja. I'm going to, I'll get her name down for too long. Use a torch when it's in the dark. Keep me healed when when not in combat, try to heal me during combat. Cast an a an area area of effect party heal spell, please. Never mind. Are you sure? Okay, so there, she's got different stuff. So follow me, but go casual. Absolutely. And that's her casual outfit. That Did is you give like me ingredients that I can use. I try to make some useful potions, but don't give me anything too fancy. I'm not that good at it. And she will make potions periodically and give them to you. I wish I could get her direct. It would be nice to have a pet, a cat maybe. I love cats, or a dog. A dog will make a good companion. So I have a dog, but I can't get her to recognize it. But here. What's that? I gotta find it. Yes. You do want us to stay together, right? Of course. 
course. Is there anything in particular that you would like to discuss? Okay, about my other companion. Yes? So here's all the companions that she works with. And there's the one that I have. And you can introduce her to just uh, somebody else. But what happens... A partner without a proper name. Hmm. I hope you will remember my name when you introduce me to this partner. Let's find out. But you have to talk to him, and I can't talk to the dog. And so she doesn't recognize the dog. I thought you would... If you say so. Of course. Yes? Neshka? Nesh we met, but she might have forgotten my name. Will you be so kind and introduce me to her again? Neshka, this is Valja. Now she recognizes her. And remember, they're both from Morrowind. Okay, so now we gotta go try to. I think I already did this one, didn't I? Yeah. And I did those there. Yep. So I, I gather all this stuff up. That's where we came in at. Especially, I mean, I do it all the time because I'm a scrounger. But, uh... Every little bit is going to get you gold. And we're going to need... I find the Imperial City a bit noisy. I'm not sure I would like to live here for a longer time. We're going to need uh, all the gold we can get to buy stuff. And get the torches. In the vanilla game, the shears are worth nothing. But because of the add-on... Oh, I don't... The Maria Lena. Damn fine ship. With a damn fine crew. I should know. I'm her first mate. Malvolus is my name. So believe me when I tell you we don't like it when people snoop around in our affairs. You get near that ship and my men will run you through. Shove off! She's a bitch. So I'm hitting the A button to select them one at a time. And you can hit the X button to take all. We don't want that. And then the, the B button is to go back. A button to select them one at a time. X button to take all. Now this is uh, the place that 
is, is added by the mod for the uh, crafting. There's two vendors in here. One who basically sells uh, soul gems, her right there. And then this girl. Oh, I was having an issue with her in my last game where she was bald every time I come in here. Now got. And then this girl sells. What can I do for you? Crafting supplies. So, I haven't. I'm not very good at this persuade thing, so I don't do it. Okay, you get anything for sale? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. So the bartering system. You want to haggle, and she's pretty. She's going to be hard, or she's at 43. So with her, I'm going to start at 60, and I'm going to buy this mining pick if she'll let me. No deal. Yeah. And I go two points down from up from there. You're trying to drive me out of business. You don't expect me to make that deal. You can't do that. God, you hard to get along with woman, you. Okay, so I was able to buy that. So when you when you do these vendors, look over at the uh, bottom right hand side where it says maximum sell price. That's the most she will pay you for anything. So you got to look out when you get stuff that's worth more than that, because you might as well save them and take them somewhere where they have a three thousand or two thousand sell price. And so we we need a skinning knife. I let that go too cheaply. And we need a wood axe. You're a fine negotiator. And we're running out of money. We need we need to sell her some things. Okay, so we, we don't want these clubs. Okay, so the other thing you need to know about the mechanics in this game. <coughs> You get 0 0.04 points every time you sell. And if you sell three, if, if you sell more than one item, you're only going to get that one time. It's not like if you sell 10 items, you're going to get that times 10. You're only going to get 0.04% of a point per every time you do this so that's why their bartering system is to get your merchant skills built up it's kind of tedious now when you get down to two it's not gonna it'll it'll just sell two and see this staff's only it's worth 99 so that's good but you're gonna like when you get daedra weapons they're worth like two three four thousand and you got to be careful you don't want to sell something that you could get four thousand gold out of to somebody that's only going to pay nine hundred for it so when you have something that's over her height it'll actually say value nine hundred up there i don't want that so that seems a fair pro you've got a great deal there that's a good deal. A good so, price for a good customer. So basically, if you want to build your uh, bartering skills a up, customer. I think I'll hold on to that one there. Mm. You drive a hard bargain. You drive a hard bargain. But if I sold all four of these at once, I would only get that 0.04% credit towards my uh, merchant skills. So you have to do this. You drive a hard bar. A good price for a good customer. Okay. 
and try not to sell any of your good stuff. So I'm missing boots for this, but I'll stay in the leather armor. Now remember, you, you can't read your books from here. If you were to hit, you'd sell that book, and that's a skill book. And that's a tome, so... And there's how to use your companion. So the bones, I, we don't need them. Later on when you get the wolf, uh, he'll eat bones and it'll uh, make him more, more powerful. But for now we don't need bones because they're a dime a dozen. But I'm pretty sure you're giving it away. You're not going to get any credit for it for this transaction. So it's not based on value, it's based on how many times That's a good deal. you click this. That's a fair deal. That's more than I'd usually pay. An excellent bargain. That's for crafting. And see, this isn't worth anything. Now, I could be wrong about when you just give it to him, but I don't think you get, I don't think you're getting any credit towards your crafting skills. Now you need to keep one of these for shear and sheep. You've made a that's a fair deal. And I'm gonna hang on to that skull. I don't know, it just looks like it's there for a reason. You've made a good. That's more than. You've made. Guess she won't take those uh, mythic dawn robes. So we need a book, and another book, and another book. A fine bargain for you. And another book. Okay, so that's now. Um, I don't know if I'm buying. Got any ingots? Iron ingots, lady. So, I've got 400 gold. Do I want to start buying this crap yet? Yeah, I might just wait. Until I get some more moolah. See, these are crafting items. And like I said, it says you can make cloth clothes. But I haven't found a place to do that yet. Okay, so let's see. Does she have any lock picks? I mean, not lock picks. Uh, repair hammers. Don't see any repair hammers. Thank you for your patronage. I've heard the Black Horse Courier is hiring. If you're interested in work. Farewell. And there's liable to be some quest in here that you guys have never seen before because that uh, Cyrodiil Reloaded mod that I put in here, it takes a lot of stuff that was cut and reintroduces it into the game. And I think that Black Horse Courier may or may not be one of them. What do you want? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. So she sells alchemy stuff. So she's not going to have any damn repair armor hammers either. Nope. 
описанию. So now we can mine things. Oh, hello. Well met. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters oh, no. Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruitment. So let's go to uh doesn't say anything about the black horse courier. She told me about it. How goes it? One of the guards. It seems that Speak. these are turbulent times in the land of the Dunma. Well met. Safe travels. Hello. Bye. Yes. Hail, good citizen. How can I be of service? I'm thirsty. I don't have any street clothes I can put on yet. I like to dress up every once in a Do while. Do you need something? So the thing is, the pickaxe and the mining uh, axe is not, or mining hammer or mining axe, whatever it's called, they're not the same thing. So pickaxe won't cut the mustard. Anything with a value. Except the torches. You want the torches because uh, you'll get into some of these caves that are real dark and you will go through those torches. I gotta run to the bathroom, so I'm just gonna sit here and let these people talk around me. I'll be right back. Why did that God tell me I had his ear? He should look after his ear. I can't help if he has lost it. Those helmets are provided for a reason, right? This is at least better than scrubbing castle floors.
All right, I'm back. Didn't take long. Am I talking too much? Just tell me if you want me to keep quiet. <sighs> yep, she's a pretty good companion. Where am I at as far as, uh, so I can Did probably level noise? up. I wonder what it was. I believe that your son has a fighting chance in the market district. I can teach you how to run. Hey, stranger, can you spare a few coins? I've just been shaken down by that bastard watchman and he took my last scepter. I don't know his name, but I'd recognize him if I saw him again. Luronk and I were shopping at Jen Scenes when he accused us of stealing. Even Jen Scene said we were innocent, but he didn't care. We had to pay his fine or go to jail. He's shaken down most of the shopkeepers in the market district. They're all too afraid of him to do anything. Jen Seaton wouldn't even talk about it. Someone ought to do something about him. Well, he ain't give him any money. You're very curious. Perhaps too curious for your own good. Oh, he's that wanted criminal. Isn't he a master thief? I hear he's dangerous, too. I've heard that the beggars spy for him. See, I don't remember this guy at all. I don't know much about him, either. Just that he appeared in Anvil shortly after the attack on the chapel there. Thornier will buy almost anything, and I mean anything. Damn watchman. That girl. Oh, I definitely want to grab all the See that's what's good about searching these crates and oh, stuff. Okay. Um, you can get a bunch of free repair hammers. There's another one. So when you're picking one thing at a time, you just hit the A button. If you want the whole container, you hit the uh, X button. Maybe we could catch a mud crab. How do you do?
I'm going around the outside edge and then I'm going to go through the center. Just X to take all of it. I just hit the A on that one. And you just use your uh, left joystick up and down to choose between items. Do you think it will rain? And when you click on the A button to take one thing, it's going to automatically jump to whatever's left in there. That should be all of it right there. How do you do? But... Hail, good citizen. How can I be of service? One day I would like you to tell me all about what you and this could be in Norway. I didn't think I wanted to go outside. But, uh... Um, <clears throat> hey. No, I don't want to go outside. What is it, citizen? You have my ear, citizen. That's where I want to go, right there. But all those crates we just searched. Hello there. Elven gardens. So, tell me, where is the garden? So, she's got a point. So, uh, Hail, good citizen. all those How crates will respawn. The X button and got everything oh, out of that mess. I'm so clumsy. And it doesn't hurt if you grab some stuff that has no value because you can just give it away. Or you could drop it too if you wanted to. So I'm sure there'll be a, a few people, maybe even a lot of people, who will watch this video and they won't. Uh, be using a controller and I'm apologize but I don't know nothing about the keyboard commands I don't buy games unless they say they have controller support and then I get really upset when they really don't have controller support um, a good example is uh, Dragon Age Origins I think it's the name of it uh, that one was advertised with controller support but you got to get something like uh, X-pad or something else and uh, I actually bought one of those programs and uh, they have like you can go out and download some uh, pre-setup 
controllers, you know, and uh, they still didn't work like the original game, the Xbox version. I was very impressed when I found the uh, the mod that that guy made for this one to, uh, I mean, the controller works just like it should. Happy camper here because of that. If this place is supposed to be a garden, I'm glad that I'm a country girl. What can I do for you? She's the armorer. I have friends visiting soon, so I told them to stay at the King and Queen Tavern. You too. Greetings. You surely aren't that talkative, are you? Yeah, I put a mod that's supposed to enhance all these. Uh, but like I said, I can't remember what it vanilla looked like. I shopped there many times. The brothers never failed. Everyone Remember scavenging and searching for stuff and collecting stuff a door in Nibbin Bay I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate I wonder if that's the Shimmering Isles DLC. I don't know. There's a lot to do in this game. And, uh... But, you know, building up your skills and getting better armor and all that stuff, it's all part of it. And I hope I don't bore anybody by doing what I'm doing, but this is how I play the game. And, uh, you know, sometimes it'll be a lot of this, but then sometimes there'll be a lot of dungeons and, you know, fighting, bandits, fighting, ogres, whoops, wrong button, just all that stuff, creatures, torches, get all the torches you can. Now, the more you sell uh, and buy, the higher your merchant skills will get, and the more you'll be able to haggle with people. 
So every time your merchant skills go up a little bit, you should haggle, you know, to try to get what you pay for stuff. Jew them down. Okay, so there's that. And you're going to find vendors or shops, whatever you want to call them, that uh, are easier to haggle down than other people. And the guy in here, when you get the castle, he is the one who sells you the upgrades for it. And he can usually be haggled pretty good. So... And once you get somebody that you can really haggle good with, I'm not saying don't go to other people, but uh, if you got somebody you got 70% uh, built up with them, then you're going to get the most bang for your bucks buying and selling there. But you got to try to haggle with everybody. It's like I'll go to the. Uh, now where did I put that? Fighting chance to get my armor repaired, because it's cheaper to pay them to repair your armor. And I'll bu I'll buy uh, repair hammers from her, just so that. Uh, I can get my reputation built up with her a little bit. What are you thinking? And then I'll turn around and go to the other place and sell and buy stuff. Maybe we could visit the data spot. Some other stuff. Okay, so I think I've got everything. Okay, so let's go do some haggling. If he's going to be around. He's not here yet, so he's probably sleeping. Yeah. Yes. 
My name's Flavinius Vanidius. I work for the Black Horse Courier. I'd be delighted to assist you if I can. You know of the foaming flask? Yeah, that used to be my place. I had to sell up when I got into debt. At least my pal Ernest now runs the place well enough. I couldn't bear to have seen it close down completely. Hmm, <laughs> didn't know that story. He preaches in Admiral. Appeared right after the attack on the chapel there. Sounds like the usual doomsday nonsense. The Emperor and his three sons dead right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. Goodbye. Evening? Yes? Everyone's talking about the assassination, of course. Be here. Take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go ahead. Keep it. I do have a bed available for 20 gold a night. Would you like to rent it? Very good. It's up the stairs there. First door on your left. Sleep well. Remember, you can't good day. level up unless you sleep. You have to sleep to level up. So... And I don't have enough money for any training, but once I get some gold built up, I'll make it a point to do my five trainings uh, before I level up so that I can uh, get up higher. And then I also had a mod. I have a mod. I think it's called Companion Sleep. But I'm not sure. It's, but what it does is it puts an extra bed in all these rooms. So that your companion has a place to sleep. And remember, you can read everything. So if you find a skill book and you read it. It's not going to be bad for you. Only if you steal it will it be bad for you. Tell me. Yes, you do want us to stay together, right? Sure, you should do so too. You look tired. So I don't know if I can tell her to take a nap or not. What can I do? Go ahead. He's seeing you. Okay, so basically everything that you've been doing has contributed to all these points. Yeah, ha I haven't been doing anything in related to build my strength up, so my strength is zero personality I mean my strength I, c I can level up I can click on that and level up but it'll only be one point and so will the rest of these but these I've been using a lot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two highest in intelligent uh, mysticism conduration alchemy that's pretty good and then speed armor block and heavy armor no that's endurance speed is uh, athletics light armor and acrobatics so I am going to take uh, intelligence okay so you get to pick three, but as you can see, based on what you've been doing before you went to sleep, 
it built them up to where you can level them up that high. And don't know why, but it always takes a while for it to go past this. But I'll usually train in mystism and armor. And if somebody... if. If I just can't find nobody else, I'll do conjuration. Oh. Armorer. Not armor itself, but the repair skills. Okay, so now let's see if I can go up again. Nope, I don't. I can't go up anymore because I'm not even. I'm just barely at level two. So yeah, I might want to sleep. Perhaps a trip back to Morrowind would do me some good. You know, that dog is real good as he levels up a little bit because he draws aggro. I mean, the, the other characters want to kill him before they kill you. There he is. Good day. Anything for sale? What can I interest you in? So I'm going to start with him at 70. And then we are going to go to... Uh, Pair of hammers. I let that go too cheaply. See, he's taking it, getting him for fifteen, which is good. Let's bump it up to seventy-two and see what happens. Still selling it to us, seventy-four. You don't expect me to make. Okay, so he's going to be good at 72. You bought that for a song. And this is where you build up your uh, merchant skills. I wouldn't make that deal. Buying things one at a time. Selling things one at a time. That's a good deal. I wouldn't make... You're a fine negotiator. I let that. I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. I let that go too cheaply. Okay, so now let's see if I get anything I can sell them. So I know I don't have any weapons. Well, I guess I could sell him this. An excellent bomb. And this. And then we'll go over to here. Sell him that. And all this is stuff I got out of those crates. That seems a fair price. 
So there's my street clothes. I'm going to save. Uh, I'm going to do. Uh, a good price for a good customer. some of these Do you have any pants to wear with that yeah those pants there you got a great that's a good deal See now. See, they're not worth anything, so I don't think I'm getting any credits for them. what I want to keep. A good. You got a great deal. That's you've made. Oh, and by the way, uh, a good price. For a good so I'm hitting the A button to sell it. And when you bring this up, if you hit the left bumper, it'll jump all the way over to there. An excellent bump. And when there's two, you only have to hit the A button. That's a good deal. So you hit the A button, and then you hit the left bumper track it all the way over you hit the right bumper it'll go all the way to the high side that's a good deal yeah I'm gonna hang on to those they don't weigh nothing in their souvenir from my time in prison Seems a fair price. See, these aren't even worth trying to use. That might be. Don't know if I ever use that or not. See, that's going to restore fatigue three points for 11 seconds. So that means every, if, I'm, if I remember this right, I could be wrong, you're going to get three points uh, restore fatigue every second for 11 seconds. And, or I may be wrong, it may be three points over 11 seconds. I don't know.
That's it. You got a great deal. You got a great... You've made a good bit of gold. Now remember, that's for making dwarven ingots. An excellent bargain. You drive... You've made a good bit of gold. And you want to keep one pair of shears for shearing sheep. You a get, good price? You get wool off the sheep. And I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but you can sell it. So if you get something for free, you might as well get it. You got a great deal there. And you can't melt the silver bowls and plates and forks down into silver so you might as well sell them a good price for a good custom that's you a button left bumper a good a button left bumper and then when it's down to two, it'll only sell them one at a time. A button, left bumper. A button, left bumper. A good price. Okay, so I think I've sold enough stuff. Thank you for your business. Take care. Okay, so I'm going to give her an well outfit. Let me check your gear. Please, go on. And, uh, I'm going to give her, uh, this and this and a pair of doe shoes. A pleasure to speak with you. And she puts it on, which is good. He's seeing you. And I'm gonna, I don't have nothing fancy for her, just let her leave that. And I'm gonna see how these outfits look on me. First thing I want to see is if she has underwear on underneath everything. Yep, she does. Okay. I got a mod in here that'll make him naked, but I, I didn't know if I had it turned off or not. <coughs> That's not bad looking. Kind of drabby looking. I don't look too bad. I like that. Okay, that's going to be my street clothes till I get a better looking outfit. <coughs> okay, so now... And we're going to check their gear. Go ahead, please. Take your time. And see if she has anything that needs to be repaired. She's good to go. Yes. <coughs> and you can just hit the uh, B button uh, to get out of the. I'm an old wolf, 
Go ahead, please. Whoops. You can hit the B button to get okay. out of the conversation. So, you want something? All right. Okay, so all her stuff's at 100%. We haven't done any fighting yet. Yes. Talk later. And you hit the uh, left uh, little bitty button. I think it's an arrow work, key work, on the work. top. All the time work. Right beside the left stick and underneath the... Uh, off to the left of the Xbox emblem button. To... Re or to uh, wait a minute. To wait. What can I do for you? So she can train me, but I'm, I'm, I don't have enough money. It costs too much. If it's broken, I can fix it. So if you, you hit the Y button to repair all, and see, she can repair everything for 10 gold. Those repair hammers cost 20 to 15, depending on who you buy them from. And they're you want to save them for when you're out in the wilderness. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Okay, so I'm going to haggle with her. I'm going to go up to 50%. Uh, That's just not reasonable. Yeah, she's hard to get along with. Okay, so she let... It's still 18, but she went 48%. And I don't think I'm going to buy all these. I don't know. Whoops. They don't have that much gold. An excellent deal. Pleasure doing business with you. A bargain at any price. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank I got you. less than two hundred gold. Bye. And she trains for armor, armor. So after this I get a bunch of gold, I'll be coming back to see her for that. So now, oh yeah, I need to go in here real quick. Now you get a bunch of jobs with these people. Rashad, Need any couriers? Absolutely. We're looking for someone who's able to start work immediately, as we have many letters to deliver all across Cyrodiil. This one is willing to give you a job, if you're interested in working for an honest living, that is. I'd love to become a courier. That's great. Rajirat and his brothers will be pleased to work with you. Urjapi has a job available right now if you're eager to get started. Take Hi. care. Greetings. They say that the priestesses of the Chapel of Gidella have all been murdered. No one even knows who did it. I heard there's a prophet in Anvil who seems to know what's going on. Urjapi helps his brothers, Rajirad and Hasiri to run the Black Horse Courier. Others write 
And I got a mod that's supposed to make everybody look better. But like I said, I haven't played the game in so long. Vanilla, I don't know if it did anything or not. Got any jobs? Of course. For your first job, I need you to get a letter from Severius Adius and deliver it to Hafid Halal at the Gerald View Inn in Bruma. You will receive 50 gold upon successful completion of the job. Are you ready for the job? I'll take it. Great. Good luck. So these jobs, they don't... The, every time you do one, they go up 5 or 10 on the gold the first one pays 50 but the thing about it is is uh, it gives you a chance to explore S Cyrodiil and uh, you know go through caves caverns whatever and, and get more loot and I want to uh Okay, so Oh, I gotta go here and pick it up first. I gotta go here to pick up the letter. Hell. Hello. See the marker? Pretty much the markers will take you on your quest, but every once in a while, it doesn't show up. Sir, I got nothing to eat. Have mercy. Savarius Atius, we will comply with the Watch's orders. The Atius family will stay clear of the Syntavs if they stay clear of us. Apparently, there's a feud going on. Need something delivered? Ah, a black horse courier. Uh, courier. I have this letter that needs delivering to an old friend of mine, Hafid Hollowleg in Bruma. Good luck. Too. Okay, so now we need to hit the road, what is Jack. It, citizen? <laughs> this is nice. Don't you think so? I find the Imperial City a bit noisy. I'm not sure I would like to live here for a longer time. Yes, you do want us to stay together, right? Now remember, I had to go in there and All right. s set her up to be essential. The dog's already essential, and I'm pretty sure she's it, essential. I hope I can help. All right. Okay, she's got leather, and she's got fur armor. And as we uh, get more stuff, I'll make them where they got more armor on them. Now, the next one we want to take is to get that breathing underwater ring. It's straight down here. And you got to kill 12 slaughterfish, which is kind of time consuming. How about going for a ride? But he gives you a ring that lets you breathe underwater. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. And getting that at the beginning of the game is really great. And then you can go looking for clams and get pearls and uh, see if there's any chest under there. Hello. You know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought, and I've lost. 
Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Oh, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. How can I help? Laugh in his face? Nah, how can I help? Go on and la Wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Till one of those slaughterfish damn near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then, last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. About the scales? The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this leg. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Help an old fisherman out, won't you? Okay, so that's the quest we're going to do. And this I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. So I know the starting this all out Don't you think so? is going to be boring because we're not doing a whole lot of exciting things. But this is how I play the game. You need that cooking salt for cooking. And you you've got to scavenge, you've got to search. Get things. I never forget the first potion I made. It was supposed to restore health, but the father almost died of it. Now you can get milk out of these cows, but you got to have a milk bucket. I don't have any empty buckets. And I don't know what you can do with the pigs, but if there was sheep around, we could shear some sheep. But there's no sheep. I wish I had left you back tomorrow in Mishka. I bet you would have had lots of fun together.
So this is part of the. How's the fishing trip going? Part of the crafting mod. You can make stuff. And I don't think I've got anything. I haven't got none of this stuff here. Here's where you can bake stuff. See if I can make any bread. I don't think I've got anything. Oh, I did make some bread. Garlic bread, maybe? I made some garlic bread. Healthy bread. So that tells you I don't have the stuff that I need to make it. Potato bread. Don't have that. Apple pie. No apple pie. I know I don't have any blackberries. Can I do a baked potato? Nope. But you can see that there's different ingredients you got to need. Now here's where you get the eggs. Found a chicken egg. I forgot what I was about to say. Found another chicken egg. And there's the chickens. Okay, so now I need to outfit my stuff. So, we're going to be in the water, and arrows don't do well in water. So you need to equip your sword. And nerve roots. I don't know if I like this. Uh, you need to start collecting them early on because before the game's over you're going to need 30 of them for a quest. 10 for the first part of the quest and 20 for the second part of the quest. So keep your eyes open for green plants. There's one right there. It doesn't make any noise. I thought that they were supposed to make a noise and they are also supposed to glow. So this is where this, uh, the clear water thing, I really, really like it, but you got to watch your, uh, without that ring, you got to watch your, uh, you think you can beat me? Go ahead. Got to kill 12 of them suckers. Oh, looky, she's in her b bikini. I must have done something right because I like she's swimming. usually purple skin when she's in the water and she looks good right now, so.
My dog does not swim very fast. Yeah, the more you use your blade, the more you, uh, you're, the more you use the stuff and do the things, that's the more those abilities will build up. The more you use, use your shield, the more you... Uh, your armor gets hit, all that builds up those skills. higher level you are the more you have to do that kind of stuff you know at the beginning it doesn't take that much to build up your skills but as you as you get a higher level it, like it takes swimming, more but those slaughter fishes really disgust me I really like the clear water. I like swimming, but those slaughter fishes really disgust me. As far as your uh, durability on your weapons and stuff, the higher your uh, the higher your uh, armor skill is, the more durable your weapons become, 
and the more you can do per uh, uh, repair hammers and the higher your you are the uh, higher you can uh, the work is never really cold here, upgrade your armor and weapons Required 12. Okay, so now I thought I've seen another one swimming around here somewhere. There's someone watching me. I can tell. How's the fishing trip going? I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. I got your scales. By the nine, you've got the scales. Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. I am a kind soul. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore, but I imagine that I... it would be very valuable to someone like you. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. Okay, so now... The ring does breathe underwater and 40 athletics. Fortifies athletic by four points. And you can wear two rings. So now we're going to go put it to the test and see if we can get some clams, some pearls out of some of these clams down here. That way we can make some money. See, I can breathe underwater. Oh, those are empty. Once I was attacked by a giant mud crab. A giant mud crab? Damn, we might not be able to find any with any, uh... Yeah, I'm getting out of here. There's no, uh, there isn't any, uh, yeah, not enough clam. Oh, there's some more narrow root. Came up just in the right spot. Okay, let's see if we can find us a, uh, there's a cave over here, I wonder what it is. Does 
There's someone watching me. I can tell. Okay, so this cave is missing some textures, and one How of the doors didn't work the last Don't time I tried to go in it. Yes? Put your freaking work Go clothes to. back on. Oh, let's see. A pleasure to speak with you. Take your time. So I'm going to repair her sword. Not bad. Shield's a little. Repair her shield. Yes? You too. go over here and you find the repair hammers and that's hers steel sword, a long sword, and her I think it was the light leather yeah, the light leather shield yes take care how are you doing? You don't look well at all. Oh crap, am I sick? Yes. If you say so. I might be sick. I have to check myself. Of course. Maybe this would be a good time to repair our armor. Yes? Talk later. What can... All right. Yes? Okay, Bye. so now, check if you're sick or not. See right there? Minus 50. I mean, not minus 50, but it's minus 10. So I am sick, and I don't know what I got, because it doesn't tell you what you got. It doesn't tell you. It just says you're sick. See, I've contracted one disease, and that's what I've got. So now, I need to, uh... Hello there. Yeah, I need to go to Goodbye. a shrine. There's a shrine somewhere around here. Must have got slaughter fish poisoning or something.
Where's my dog at? Told you he's a slow swimmer. There's a shrine. And you gotta find every one of these and pray at them. There's nine of them before you can start the the quest to uh, the Knights of the Nine or the Knights or whatever it's called. It's a DLC. I don't know. I just stole. Huh, let me see if it did it. It didn't. It doesn't look like it did anything for me. Nope, that did not do anything for me. Seek greater fame to be judged worthy. Huh. Oh, well, it's just my personality. Okay, so we're going to go do this cave, and then I'm going to quit. Hell, we're already... Uh, I don't know, I may quit right now. Yeah, let's stop right here, and then uh, I'll get this video ready to post. And then we'll uh, work on another one. They'll get, when I start doing stuff like exploring these caves and fighting, it'll get a little more interesting. Okay, so stop our recording software thank you everybody who's put up with me I know some of these can be kind of boring when you're just scavenging and trying to build your skills up but they will get a little more exciting and I, I like this game so I'm going to play it and I'm going to record it and share it and if people watch it they watch it if they don't oh well but alright thank you very much have a good day good evening Good morning. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning over here. All right. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.